Hi guys, um, so today's going to be a bit of a different video and I'm going to be showing you how I paint my nails. Quite a lot of you have requested this and I don't really blame you to be honest because I used to have quite a lot of trouble with painting my nails but I've kind of grasped how to do it now and how not to make them smudge or anything. I've got quite a few products that I like, I really really like so I'm just going to be showing you um, what I use. So the first thing I have nail polish on right now and as you can see it's a bit chipped and um, that's just what it looks like. If any of you are wondering, it's Topshop's Windy City with another colour here, but I forgot what that is. There's another Topshop colour, one of their metallics. So, um, to take it off, I'm going to be using this, which is the Elegant Touch Nail Polish Remover Get Get M Off um, Artificial Nail Remover. Basically, you can use this as a normal nail polish remover, which I'm using now. Um, this is it's good to buy one that is that takes off artificial nails because it's stronger than ones that just take off nail polish so that's what I'm going to be using and I like to use these big cotton pads which are actually just for babies um, firstly because they're like they're huge so you can just get like a nice amount of nail polish remover if you can see that and it covers the nail nicely so I'm then going to just scrub this off and as you can see it just comes off nice and easily. I am um, sorry I'm at a weird angle but I just want to be able to show you like my nails. Um basically um also I just want to say that I know there's the bourgeois one second was it one second nail polish remover little pot thing. Um I've got something exactly like that um but it's for much cheaper. But if like I find it really dries out my nails which I don't like and um I did use it for quite a while um, but I find this just as good, um, this one anyway, I don't like other nail polish remover really. So that's all the nail polish off on that um, hand and then I'm just going to do it on this one. My nails are quite yellow like underneath because I went through, like, I've always painted my nails and obviously when I was younger I didn't used to use like a base coat, um, so the colour used to go straight through onto my nail and I used to wear um, reds a lot, which obviously made it even worse. Um, so that I don't actually like to like not wear nail polish, so my nails, they, I find my nails are really weak as well um, when there's no nail polish on them, they seem to flake off a little bit. Um, and so I'm going to be, I think I'm going to go and try the OPI Nail MV um, Nail Varnish thing um because that one looks really good so there you go um mucky cotton pad and um all my nails are nice and clean um so no no nail polish on there now absolutely fine and um, they're a bit grubby but it's okay so now i'm just going to quickly use my nail um file and this is just a plain nail file looks like this i don't really like the fancy ones i'm just going to go over the edges quickly and then um, if like some of my nails have broken like throughout the week or something I just file them down so they're all nice same length now quite a few of you asked me how I make my nails grow to the length that they are and I don't really know I'm just kind of blessed with good nails really I don't have good skin so I have good nails instead I'd prefer it to be the other way around but hey ho um, my nails just seem to grow and grow and grow, especially um, my pinky and um, this finger here, these two, and my ring finger, sorry I didn't know the name. Um, so this nail's really kind of jagged, so just sorting that one out. So um, they're all kind of kind of the same length now. Um, I've got some kind of short ones. Um, like this one's really short at the moment because um, it chipped off. Um, now I'm just going to take off all the gunk which is inside the nails. And I'm, because I've got quite on nails, I can just kind of stick my nails in to get the gunk out. If that makes sense. Um, just making sure they're all nice and clean. Um, as I've just filed them, so they can get a bit grubby after you filed them and you might have a bit of like a like a little lip kind of thing on your nail after you've filed them right so there we go they're all nice and clean nicely filed everything 
Right, my nails are feeling really horrible right now, so what I'm going to do is, um, at the moment, I hardly have any top coats or base coats. So this is actually a top coat, but I'm just going to use it as a base coat because I can't be bothered to, like, not film this video, if you get what I mean. And sorry I look really washed out, it is literally, like, grey as anything outside. Um, this is the Kiko Gel Look Ultra Glossy Effect Top Coat. And it just looks like this. Now, this nail polish has gone kind of like stringy, if you get what I mean. Um, but I'm not going to be using too much. And literally, just going to be putting it on really roughly, really. Just onto the nails, because, well, all this is is a base coat. It doesn't really have to be neat. Um, the only problem is, is I think the one mistake with nail varnish is not picking up enough on the brush which makes it go horrible and just it looks worse when you don't have enough nail polish whereas it doesn't look you can sort it out if you have too much if that makes sense so don't be scared to pick up like a nice amount um basically as i said this just needs to be put on really roughly And I'm not really taking too much care over it. So, as it's really stringy, I've just got to be careful. Sorry my eyes keep getting cut out. It's just the angle that I've got the camera at. So, um, there you go. As you can see, they're a bit more glossy now. Now, I don't really need to wait for the nail polish um, to dry, really. Because it's only a clear coat, so it doesn't really matter. I am going to be using MUA's um, Love Heart Nail Varnish in the colour Your Fab. I'm using this nail polish because I really like it. But also, I just want to prove to you that you don't, usually, don't need to use expensive nail polishes to kind of get a nice application if that makes sense so I'm just going to show you how I apply this now right so I'm just opening the cap and so I'm just going to start with this thumb so I'm basically going to get the brush and just start like this and then once you get down to the bottom I just kind of wiggle it and pull it back up and then you turn the nail polish um, applicator around just to make sure you've got a nice application this um, nail varnish is actually really really pigmented so I'm not going to need many coats at all maybe even one um, so then I've just got this nail here and do exactly the same just paint it on wiggle at the bottom make sure you get all of the sides what I try and do is leave a tiny little gap at the sides just to make it look a little bit neater the thing if you go right up to the sides it looks a little bit grubby um, as it can get on the skin and that doesn't look very nice so as you can see I've left a little gap at the bottom and with that one um, just so it looks nice and presentable because getting it on the skin is horrible and then the same with the next nail wiggle at the bottom and pull back up so as you can see this technique's really really easy and it's really good for not getting on the skin. I've just said that and I've just slipped with my brush and got it on my skin. But that is not a problem because it's just there and all I do is get my nail from my other hand and just scrape that off before it goes and gets dry. Because that nail is going to have nail polish on it anyway. So look, now that looks fine. Um, and then again with this nail... And there we go, we have a perfectly painted hand. Now I'm just going to do the other hand and I'll be straight. So now I've finished by painting both hands. And if you just take a close up at the nails, they look absolutely fine. Except for I've just smudged this one. Um, you always get mishaps in painting nails and it's no problem. You just either get a, a cotton bud um, that you put in you know, your ear or whatever. Um, and you just take that, put some nail polish on them and um, you just go around and just sort it out. I don't actually need to do that because they look absolutely fine. This nail polish is actually really, really good and you don't need more than one coat. Um, so that's that one there. I'd really recommend these nail polishes actually, they're really good. So as you can see, it's a really opaque nail varnish for one coat. Um, but it, what you want to do, if you need to paint more than one coat, if you go over three coats, the nail polish tends to go um, kind of gloopy. And when it dries, it will take a long time to dry as well. Um, and when it dries, you kind of sometimes get air bubbles, like, rising up to the surface. And you can, I don't know if you've ever experienced it, but I've experienced it quite a lot. Like, in the, the blue nail polish that I had on earlier, that's what happened um, then. 
So, just the one. If you go over three coats, that's what can happen. Um, but yeah, this one, we're not going to have a problem with that. My, like, the best, like, thing, obviously, I'm, I'm trying not to <laughs> touch my hair with my nails. Um, this is the best thing ever. This is the Elegant Touch Rapid Dry for Nails with Vitamin E. I really like the Elegant Touch range for nails. And this is just what it looks like. Basically, it is an aerosol can which dries um, your nail polish within 60 seconds. What you do is you shake it up like this, okay? And you can do it on completely wet nail varnish. I know I've waited like a few seconds, but you can do it literally straight away. You go from about 10 centimetres away and you just spray each nail like this, right? Um, just, just a little bit. Right, and I have just sprayed that all over my phone, but it'll be okay. Basically, I don't know if you could see, but it gives a really glossy effect to the nails. And also, sometimes, you can see it just here, sometimes it gets onto the skin, but it doesn't matter. It just makes the skin look a little bit oily for like 60 seconds, that's it. You then wait 60 seconds and your nail polish is dry to a touch. Um, I know Avon do something like like this um, and it's called Instant Freeze I think. But that's like £5. This is like £3.49 or something. You get a massive aerosol can and um, you get 125ml of the product in here. And I just think it's absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, I'm trying to move my hair without... Oh, it's really annoying me. That's better. So... As you can see, we've got a perfectly nice manicured nails. I think I'm quite good at painting nails, really. Like, I don't really bother going to the, like, the beauticians to get my nails done because I think I can do it myself um, well enough. Um, if you've got any problems, like, painting your... If you've got any problems painting your nails, um, like, with getting it everywhere, just try what I said and be really gently handed with it and just put it on and then wiggle at the bottom and make sure you don't go to the bottom of the nail that is the massive thing don't go right to the bottom and like to the cuticle and don't go right over to the sides of the skin because that's where the problems end up happening so <laughs> sounds like a dramatic like disaster um but yeah thank you for watching guys i hope you've learned some things to do with uh, nails today and um i will speak to you soon bye